Hello there, my beautiful book lovers. My name is Kimia and welcome to the Celebration Nook. Today we are going to celebrate one of my all-time favorites artists, Vincent van Gogh. But for this video, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to look at some of his paintings and artworks and then wait till the end because I'm going to recommend some books and movies that are related to Vincent van Gogh. So let's get on to it. Vincent was born in the Netherlands in 1853 to a religious family and he had a pretty tough childhood. He struggled to find his footing in his early career and worked a variety of odd jobs including stints at an art dealership, as a school teacher and as a lay preacher in a mining district in Belgium. But despite all of this, Vincent was always drawn to art. In 1880, at the age of 27, he decided to pursue painting full-time and moved to Brussels to study art. From there, he went on to Paris, where he was exposed to the work of Impressionist and Neo-Impressionist artists. This experience had a profound impact on his style, and he started using a lighter, brighter palette and experimenting with brushstroke technique. In 1888, Vincent moved to Arles, a small town in the south of France where he hoped to create a utopian artist community. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned and Vincent struggled with mental illnesses during his time in Arles. However, it was during this period that he produced some of his most celebrated works such as The Starry Night and Irises. In May 1889, after experiencing a number of mental health issues, Vincent checked himself into a mental hospital located in a former monastery in saint remy de provence There, he spent a year painting scenes of the hospital garden and the surrounding countryside, producing over 100 paintings during this time. Despite his relative lack of success during his lifetime, Vincent's legacy as one of the greatest artists of all time was cemented after his death in 1890. He produced over 2,000 artwork during his short career, many of which are considered to be among the greatest painting ever created. Vincent's younger brother Theo, who was a successful art dealer in Paris, played a crucial role in promoting Vincent's work and preserving his legacy after his death. Vincent and Theo corresponded frequently, with Vincent often sending his brother sketches and paintings, which Theo would then try to sell to collectors and art enthusiasts. Sadly, Vincent's life was cut short when he died in 1890 at the age of 37 from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Theo died just six months later from complication related to syphilis, but he had made it his life's mission to promote and preserve his brother's art. After Theo's death, his wife, Johanna van Gogh Bonger, worked tirelessly to promote Vincent's work, loaning it out for various exhibitions and publishing a collection of letters written by Vincent. She was instrumental in establishing Vincent's legacy as one of the greatest artists of all time. Today, Vincent van Gogh's work continued to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. His use of color and unique style 
revolutionized the art world and left an indelible mark on the history of art. First, we have Vincent and Theo de Van Gogh's brother by Deborah Hilligman. This book is a collection of letters that the two brothers exchanged together, and it really shows their relationship and the friendship that they had, how much Theo was supporting Vincent throughout his journey, how much Vincent was feeling guilty for amount of money, time, and just the support in general that Theo was giving him. And so it's very touching, it's very lovely to see them, to really get that feeling, and also see the struggle that Vincent had, the struggle that Theo had, some of the small um, quarrel and conflict that they had just like any other siblings and because of that I very much enjoyed it. It gave me that deeper understanding of Vincent van Gogh and Theo and so because of that I highly recommend it. Then we have Sunflowers by Sharami Bundrick. This book is a fictional novel so it's not 100% true but it's based on all the facts that she was able to collect and created this story to give a better or happier life to Vincent and I loved it it's simply because at the end the ending is still true to what happened in the reality but there are these moments and some people that actually were um, friend or acquaintance with Vincent but we do not really know what was their actual relationship and she kind of took that and changed it in a way that she preferred and I very much enjoyed it. I know that there were some reviews of people that saying that it's like playing with the history and changing it and, and some people not enjoyed it much but to me it was just so lovely to have that because I always imagine that Vincent van Gogh was a little bit happier at the end or he had those people even though sometimes it's really hard and you know based off some of the letters that he was writing and some of the like the um, struggle that he had in mental hospital and um, the letters with Theo it was like maybe not that but I like to imagine that maybe it was and so because of that this book it's really the perfect book to read and just imagine a little bit of a happiness there for his life and um, to wrap up the video I actually want to very much highly highly recommend watching Loving Vincent the movie this movie it is just absolutely beautiful the way that they did it they actually try to match the entire movie with his painting so it has the same style of the like the line works and the color palette and everything it just matched it's like you're looking at all of his paintings and so I remember when the movie came out, I actually went to movie theater and I cried so much because the ending is just so beautiful and you see it and especially because like they match the characters with their paintings and they look so similar and like you have the painting and then they start to move and it's the characters and you're seeing his life and you see the yellow house and so because of that, it's such a beautiful movie and I highly recommend to watch it. And that's it all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy birthday, Vincent. And until the next video, happy reading.